if you're trying to think, man, I got to work up the faith to do this and I got to make this go away. No, you're in trouble. You're not the healer. You're not the one who does it. You got to hear from him, do what he said, and then, so to speak, just step aside and, and go, okay, <laughs> let him do what he said. The Word of God brings faith into the now. Today, Jeremy Pearsons and Keith Moore show you how to take hold of God's promises and allow Him to do His work through you. Next on The Believer's Voice of Victory, now here's Jeremy. Hello everybody, welcome again to The Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. I'm Jeremy Pearsons and I am so blessed and honored to once again be sitting here today around the Word of God with Brother Keith Moore, pastor of Faith Life Church Branson, yes, Faith sir. Life Church Sarasota, <laughs> yeah. and who knows where else, you right, know, in right. the years to come. But glory to God, this is an awesome thing, you know, where you can, you can look into these cameras and preach the word and to realize it's going literally all over the world. Mm -hmm. And I, here we are talking in English yep. and there's people hearing it in Spanish yeah. and German Thank you, and Lord. Russian mm. and who knows what else. Thank you, Lord. That's what the Lord is doing. And I'm, I believe we're, we're beginning to scratch the surface of the greater things. Mm -hmm. These are things Jesus didn't get the opportunity to do in his life and his ministry on the mm. earth, but he's, he's enabled us yeah. and he's blessed us and graced us with the ability to be all over the world at one time. Thank you, Lord. And so wherever you're watching this, we welcome you into this. You, you, are, you are welcome here at the table with us. Get your Bible, get into the Word with us and watch what the Word can do in your life. Let the Word do what only the Word can do, mm. and that's bring change from the inside out. Thank Father, again today, we do love you and worship you. Lord. you. Lord, I am so thankful for what you've already Thank done you. in these broadcasts that we've had together, and I'm stirred up to believe the, the good things that are just ahead of us, and we open ourselves up to you today. Whatever you want said, whatever you want done, we are yielded to you. Uh, we believe there's, there's not only an anointing to preach this, but an, an anointing to hear it and receive it, and we come into agreement today with every partner, every person who's watching this broadcast. And we thank you, Lord, for doing all that is in your heart to do on behalf of them and their lives and their families. We receive it as a gift of your grace today. We open up your word with eyes to see it, ears to hear it, and hearts to understand it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Brother Keith, we've, we've been in some exciting things here, adding to our faith, faith right. for miracles, mm -hmm. and, and bringing bringing faith into the now. Yesterday afternoon, spending some time, you and I, with, with Brother Copeland, and, and my, my ear caught that when he said that. He said, talked about bringing faith into the now. Right. And there's, there's been some things we had to learn about faith and patience. Mm -hmm. We had to. That there, there are promises that that's the only way they come, right. is by believing and continuing yeah. to believe. Standard. But somewhere along the way, I guess we just talked ourselves into thinking that was the only way and that it was going to take yeah. years and years and years. Right. And hey, I'm ready to stand. Yeah. I'm ready to believe. And, and if, it takes, if it takes what it takes, it takes what it takes. Right. But, but my faith is stirred up in hearing these things and believing that there are some things the Lord wants us walking in now. Right. And right. not pushing off. And I think we've pushed them off because that was easier for our minds to accept. Mm. It was easy to, easier to wrap our brains around this thing taking a while. Yeah. And it, it's time to get free of some of that. Well, it, it, people have always been that way. Jeremy, you see that in Jesus' own ministry. Uh, when he would come to places, he would read from the book, the scroll, Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is on me. Mm because he's anointed me. And then he'd talk about, you know, what the anointing does. And then he'd say, today, today. <laughs> this, this verse is fulfilled mm. in your ears. He's saying, the anointing is here now on me to do these things now. And it was so hard for so many of them to Exactly. There were whole, like his hometown. Yeah. There were whole towns that just shut him down yeah. and, and said, no, who's he? standing up saying, he's anointed to yeah. do this now. And so they had a real problem with this. People claim, th these are the people that were claiming to be looking for him. Yeah. We're looking for him. Yeah. Messiah's coming, <laughs> Messiah's coming, Messiah's coming. And then when he was there, no, he's still coming. Yeah. 
that. And we can't be like that. There's, well, it, it's, uh, you can continue to walk by sight. Yeah. If you push everything off into the future and you don't have to believe now. Mm -hmm. And so it takes any responsibility away from believing now. And you'll find today that you'll have folks that if you want to talk about what God did back years ago, oh man, they're your, they're your man, they're your woman. They can talk all day about what God did, how powerfully he moved and, and how wonderful it was. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to talk about the coming move, yeah. that oh man, there's a move coming. There's a move coming. Oh, you folks will shout with you, talk with you. But if you say, all right, right now, yeah. during the broadcast, yeah. <laughs> today, here, now, let's believe for some things to happen. A lot of folks go, now? You mean, you mean <laughs> yes, 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 yes now. right? Today. Now, that's, that's what word. Jesus today. said. Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your ears. Uh, like you said, there's some things you believe and stand for, but there's a whole lot of things mm -hmm. that people think they're waiting on God yeah. and they're not. Yeah. It's already bought. It's already paid for. Uh, it's like the new birth. You know, it, we know it's wrong for somebody to say, well, I'm just waiting whenever God gets ready to cause me to be born right. again mm -hmm. in, in his own good time and own good way. We'd say, no, yeah. no, today. <laughs> you just, you need to receive today. We know that about the new birth. Uh, we tell, no, you're not waiting on God. Uh, you can receive him now. And yet people have, even though they know that, they've said that about being filled with the spirit. They've said that about being healed. They've said that about any number of things, but it's not true. I know a lady one time won't take me to task about speaking with tongues. And so uh, she heard me talk about some things and she said, now, are you saying that you can just talk in tongues anytime you want to? And uh, I learned some years ago to not just answer and go, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need to take everything back to the word. Mm -hmm. So it's not a me versus you deal. Mm -hmm. And so I took, I took her back to first Corinthians where he said, uh, what is it then? I will pray with the spirit. I'll pray with the understanding also. I'll sing with the Spirit. I'll sing with the understanding also. Well, could I say, I'm going to pray with the understanding right now? Mm -hmm. Initiate it, certainly. Well, he says, I do the same thing with my Spirit. And she shook her head. She said, no, no, no. She said, you can't turn the Holy Ghost off and on just whenever you want to. And without even thinking about it, just came right out of my spirit. I said, no, because he's always on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's so, always yeah. on. You know, he never sleeps nor slumbers. Yeah. Even when you're laying in the bed asleep, he's inside you. He's not asleep. Mm -hmm. And anytime we will just step out to yield to him, utterance comes. Well, that is true about a number of things, including a number of things in the area of healing mm -hmm. and deliverances and miracles. We have sometimes in our services, we'll say tonight's healing night, mm -hmm. tonight's miracle night. And sometimes people say, well, how can you say tonight's miracle night? How do you know? Well, if it was up to God <laughs> every <all> night, yeah. <laughs> but what we're saying is we're going to focus our faith mm -hmm. because uh, the, the restrictive determining factor is not God's ability. Yeah. It's not even God's will and provision. It's our faith. Well, even in that, it goes back to what you've been talking to us about. The, the beginning of any miracle is hearing from Him. Hearing and from if Him. And He says tonight's miracle night, <laughs> it's Focus miracle night. Focus on it. Focus on it. It's just that simple. Yeah. And what He's going to do is get you to release your faith mm -hmm. so He can do what He's already bought and paid yeah. for and He just manifested. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There, there were some things uh, from yesterday's broadcast that we got to that I wanted to, uh, to go further into. And it has to do with the first two miracles in Jesus' ministry. And I don't know that we'll be able to get through all of it today, but we can, we can get started in, in the first one at least. Um, the Bible said, Jesus said, if you believe on me, the works that I do shall you do also, mm -hmm. and greater works than these shall you do, because I go to my Father. But the scripture also said, the servant is not above his master. And what that's saying is, everyone that's, that's perfected or fully developed will be as his master, Jesus said. What does it mean the servant's not above his master? It means you're not going to be able to do, let me back up, if we'll follow him all the way, we can do what he did. Mm. He said so. I know a lot of folks don't believe that, but he said so. But we're not going to be able to do it differently 
than he did it. We'll have to do it the same way he did it. And without meaning to, I know I've done it in times past in my life, we tried to do some of the things he did, but do them a different way than he did them. And that's why people don't get results. The way he did it was what we've been describing. He heard from the Father. Yeah. He said and did what he heard from the Father. And he and he said, the Father the in Father me, does it. he does the works. That's how he did it. Yeah. And you'll see it in these first two miracles in his ministry. If we can go to John, yeah. the second chapter. John chapter 2. And please don't let this be too simple for you. It's not what you know in your head. It's not no knowledge of faith, knowledge about faith. Um, it's actually having living faith inside you. And the, like James says, faith without action or works is dead. A faith that moves and does and speaks and acts. And if it really is acting on something God said, the thing that comes next mm -hmm. every time is the manifestation of the power of God. And it can happen so quickly. I, I know I, uh, uh, there was a, a woman in a healing line, this has been some years ago, she had this big, uh, uh, some kind of a growth or something on her wrist right there. It was a big mound of a thing. And she held her arm out when I came by to pray. And the Spirit of God was there, and the Lord prompted me, speak to that, command it, curse it, and command it to die. Well, I got the first part, hear from Him. Mm. Well, I just did it. I've learned just, you don't have to figure it out, just do it. I spoke to it. She had her hand over it too. Her hand was on it, my hand was over her hand. And just like that, she exclaimed. She said, it's gone. I said, it's gone. She said, yeah, it's gone. And she showed me. It was just, just as flat. And it happened so quick until you want to go, well, was it really there? Wow. You know, it's just, it's like your senses can't keep up with the power of God. Yeah. And we see that kind of thing happened all through Jesus' ministry. It happened in the book of Acts with Peter and Paul and, and all these guys. The Lord hasn't changed. Mm. If, if, you're, if you're trying to think, man, I got to work up the faith to do this and I got to make this go away. No, you're in trouble. You're not the healer. Yeah. You're not the one who does it. You got to hear from him, yeah. do what he said, and then, so to speak, just step aside and, and go, okay, <laughs> let him do what he said. Yeah. Whether it's, whether it's ears or eyes or any of those things, if, if you get to thinking, oh man, this is hard, this is hard, I got pieces missing here, I got damaged parts that they removed and it, it's hard. Well, no, if you don't believe it can be done, it, it's impossible. And for you or me or them to do it, it's impossible. But if we just look up in simple faith and say, Lord, tell me what to do about this. Mm -hmm. That's the first step. Don't just start rebuking and binding and, and, and hurling scriptures at it. Ask the Lord, inquire of the Lord. Lord, what do I do about this situation? We need to ask it right now. Say it out loud. Lord, what do I do? Lord, what do I do? About this situation. About this situation. Concerning my healing. Concerning my healing. Concerning my marriage. Concerning my marriage. Concerning my finances. Concerning my finances. Concerning my children. Concerning my children. Concerning our ministry. Concerning our ministry. Our church. Our church. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm submitting myself to you. I'm submitting myself to you. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. I do whatever you say. I do whatever you say. I'm humbling myself. I'm humbling myself. Acknowledging. Acknowledge. I need your help. I need your help. I'm totally dependent on you. I'm totally dependent on you. Tell me what to say. Tell me what to say. Show me what to do. Show me what to do. And by your grace. And by your grace. I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll do it. I'll do it. And then you'll do it. And then you'll do <laughs> Thank it. You, Thank Father, you, Father. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. Praise God. Somebody's ears are getting healed right now. Thank you, Lord. You need to just reach up and put your hand on, on your ear. I speak to that ear, that eardrum. That ear canal, I speak to it in Jesus' name. The anointing is flowing down in that canal just like a fluid would flow, like, a, like oil, like oil, uh, like thin oil would flow down into there. And when it touches that nerve, it's going to reignite it. Hallelujah. Nerve be quickened and be healed in the name of of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Go lay, lay your hands on your head. There's some other things that are going on uh, behind the eyes. There was some pressure and there's something that's been there that's it's blurred the vision. It's affected the vision. You don't know what it is. The doctors don't know what it is, but it needs to be changed. We speak to it in Jesus name, inflammation and swelling and infection. Yeah, the brain is actually swelled. They're swollen there. We speak to you in Jesus name. Be normal. Be, be right. Be healed in the name of Jesus. And there's a number of people being healed right now in your breathing and your throat. So put your hand on your throat and put your hand on where you, uh, your lungs and take a deep breath in the name of Jesus. Uh, there, there's uh, something in the bottom of those lungs. It's a dark liquid it's some, and, and the d disease tissue. Uh, we speak to it. Be quickened and be healed in the name of Jesus. He can make it. He is making it pink and healthy again, just like a child's flesh. Wow. Da oh, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, lungs be cleansed, lungs be healed, vocal cords, throat be cleansed, be healed, be normal in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Now breathe it out in faith, in faith. That's better. Do another one. In the name of Jesus. Now blow it out. Keep doing that. Take another deep breath. In the name of Jesus, healed in the name of Jesus. Congestion, be gone out of the back, be healed in Jesus' name. Now you need to say, I receive it now. I, I receive, receive it, it now. now. I believe it now. I, believe it I receive now. it now. Receive it it's, now. Happening now. it's happening Nothing's now. Nothing's too hard for the Lord. Is too hard in, for Jesus the Lord. in Jesus' name. Glory to thank God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, let's just thank Him. Bless you, Lord. Let's thank we Him for thank a moment. Lord, we thank you for Him. Thank you. Thank you for thank delivering. You for so thank you for manifesting thank your you holy for healing anointing, your holy healing power. We thank you. Glory to God. We Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you. Good Jesus. things are happening, Jesus. Yes. Wonderful things are happening. Thank you, Lord. The Lord's reminded us again and again. He said, I'm not restricted by time yep. or space. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's important if, if this is going on in you right now, it's important that you you get in touch with us, you get in touch with somebody. It's important that you praise him. Yes. It's important that you thank him for this. Give if you want to be a person of great faith, you will be a person of great thanks. And if you don't know who else to call, call us. <laughs> call this ministry. There's somebody waiting to call. And this is not about collecting your name. It's about somebody on the other end of that phone going, praise God. Thank you, Lord, for being so These good. These folks will shout with you. Yes, they will. <laughs> they will shout. So it's important. It's important that you give him thanks. And it, your thanksgiving will be whether or not this you, you hang on to this gift he's given to you. If you just keep thanking him and thanking him and always be mindful of how good he's Thank been. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. Nothing at all. It is so easy for him. His power just manifests and then it's changed. It's like we're talking about that, that thing was there and then it's gone. It can happen so quickly you blink your eyes and go, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? And, and e even some things that you didn't know what it was or what caused it. Well, when it's gone, what does it matter? Yeah, right. What it was, you're healed, you're free <laughs> yeah. from it. Just go on. And you know what, what you're talking about, what you referred to. Uh, Peter's mother-in-law, the Bible says, was taken with a great fever. So she had a super high fever. She was delirious, mm -hmm. I guess, semi-comatose, whatever. And they besought Jesus to, to minister to her. So he came in and the Bible said he rebuked the fever. And uh, I, I know I'd read that number of times, but then when I, uh, it stood out to me one day and I thought, now hold on. Jesus is not praying. Mm -hmm. He's not praying to the Father. He's not talking to Peter's mother-in-law. He's talking to a fever. And he rebuked the fever. And, and, and then I thought, well, can fevers hear? Yeah. <laughs> can, a, can a fever? We don't think like that so yeah. much. A fever. Can a fever hear? 
And I read the next verse, it says, and it left her. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> I thought, well, okay, fevers can hear. And then, man, it went off in me. I thought, well, now if a fever can hear, yeah. diabetes can hear. Yes, it can. Cancer can hear. Stomach ache can hear. Whatever the case might be. And so many times people are begging and pleading with God when if we'd ask Him and listen, He'd prompt you, speak to that thing, mm -hmm. rebuke that thing, command that thing to leave, and then if you'd do it, the power of God come in behind mm -hmm. it and it would happen. But then the Bible said, uh, it left her, the fever left her, and immediately she got up and ministered to them. Yeah. Now you're talking about the best use of a healing, Yeah. right? I mean, she's confined to the bed, I guess, practically, or, or is. She's near death, and yet, just like that, she's free, she's healed. She gets up off the bed, she looks around, she goes, are y'all hungry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, I bet you're hungry. Need, look at these disciples, those are hungry boys. And she got in the kitchen, and she got to ministering to them, and what you're talking about, when the Lord's done something good for you like this, mm -hmm. and even moved in some special ways, to help you. You want to you receive what He gives you, but then you want to take your, your strength, your strength that you hadn't had, your freedom of movement, your mobility, mm -hmm. your feeling good. You don't want to waste that on nothing stuff. Mm -hmm. You want to use that to serve Him. Yeah. You want to use it, and, and I'm telling you, if you're not in a good church, get in a good church. Mm -hmm. And if you're not partnered with good ministries, partner with good ministries like this ministry and use your talents and your resources and ability like that woman to get up yeah. and minister to his people. Yeah, best use of your healing. Yes. I like that, <laughs> I like that a lot. Man, she worshiped him with it. It's how you, how you keep it, too. Yeah, mm. it is, absolutely. Well, we, we're, we're running out of time on this broadcast, and I know we didn't get into everything here, but we're going to in the days to come. Yeah. But I, I want to make sure that when you're watching this, whether you're at home or in your office or you're listening to it on the road, whatever it is, m make sure your heart is open to receive this right now. And, and that, that goes back to some things we've talked about. I believe it was in last week's broadcast about being quick to believe it. Mm -hmm. Be quick to believe it. Yep. And if this word that came through Brother Keith today regarding your healing, if you're sitting there going, well, it sounds like me, but could it be? Hey, be quick. <laughs> be quick Take to it. believe that. Take, Take it. it. Receive it. Mm -hmm. Let it go to work in your body. And then when you look up and it's like that thing had never been there before, mm -hmm. first thing you do, the first thing you don't do is say, I can't believe it. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. You say, thank you, Lord, you're so good. And you give believe. him praise and then serve him. Yep. Serve him. And, and somebody looks up and say, well, man, you, you're such a servant. Why, why do you give so much? Yeah. And it's like if you only knew. After all the Lord's done for me. If you only knew what he had done, yeah. what he saved me from. Mm. It's like I couldn't use this arm before, but now I just want yeah. to serve you with Glory it. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Glory to We're God. We're out of time on this broadcast today, but don't go anywhere. Brother Keith and I will be back in just a moment. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Jesus himself said that if you can believe, all things are possible. The question is, can you really believe? And the answer is a resounding yes, you can. You can make the decision to believe and grow your faith to experience the miraculous. Faith is very easy, and God wants you to know how to use it. Kenneth Copeland has been teaching faith for more than 45 years and is offering you his revelation and understanding in the Faith That Sets You Free package. Included is the Force of Faith book, which gives you a better understanding of what faith is and Faith How It Works CD set. In it, you'll learn God's process for faith. Faith is not this independent, what I'm going to do. Faith is complete dependence on God. You can have faith in God. Decide today. Grow your faith and experience miracles in your life and the lives of those around you. Develop a strong foundation of faith in the Word of God. Order the Faith That Sets You Free package today at a special price of only $19.99 and enjoy a savings of 20%. Simply log on to kcm.org slash TV special or call our toll-free number and request your package today. Enjoy a life of victory that comes when you understand how to apply your faith. For an additional 10% off, order your package online. We were talking at the beginning of this broadcast and you heard Brother Keith mention, you know, nobody 
is waiting on their salvation until God's ready to give it to them. No, he's already done it. He's already bought and paid for it. And the only thing that it requires is your faith in it. God has come to every man and said, I've bought you, you're redeemed. Now, not all men are living in that redemption, only the ones that said, okay, truth, Lord, you said it, I believe it, I'm redeemed. And if you've never been born again, then don't put this off any longer. Your word for today is today. It's today. Let's do this right now. Say this after me. Say, Father in heaven, Father in heaven I come to you in Jesus' name. I come to you in Jesus' name. I ask you for I ask you for and believe I receive and believe I receive your forgiveness, your forgiveness, your cleansing, your cleansing. And I thank you for it. And I thank you for it. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. And I say with my mouth, I say with my mouth, Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus. Jesus. I give you my life. I give you my life. You take it. You take it. You do something with it. You do something with it. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. And I receive. And I receive. Your Holy Spirit. Your Holy Spirit. Filling me now. Filling me now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now listen to me. If you prayed that prayer, I know it was simple, but you're born again. And you have in you right now the seed of the DNA of God himself planted in you. And this is the beginning of a brand new life. Amen. And, and if, you, if you did pray that prayer, then listen, my grandparents, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland, have something they want to give you completely free. It's a little package they call the Salvation Package. A book called He Did It All For You by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. And then two brochures in there that are gonna, just going to help you learn how to read your Bible, learn how to study your Bible. And you need to do that because in that Bible, you're going to find out who you are in Jesus and who Jesus is in you. And this is a brand new life and it's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's the best decision you've ever made to make him the Lord of your life. So if you want this, all you need to do is let us know you want it. You can contact us at kcm.org and we will send it to you absolutely free. Get in the word, get in church, stay feeding on these things, pray in the spirit. And if you need prayer, contact us. Let us know. We will come into agreement with you and see God work in your life. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast today. Until tomorrow, we'll see you then. This is Jeremy Pearsons and Keith Moore reminding you that Jesus is Lord. Learn who you are in Christ and how to begin your new life in victory. Request your free salvation package today at kcm.org. Jesus did it all for you. Receive his love and experience the good life God has for you. For additional teaching and free information on salvation, go to kcm.org. Continue to grow in God's Word with this week's Believer's Voice of Victory, available at kcm.org for purchase, streaming, or download. Let God's grace abound toward you and live in the blessing. Come to a Kenneth Copeland Ministries event. Word Explosion, September 25th through 27th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland, Bill Winston, and Chaplain A.L. Downing in Columbia, South Carolina. The 2014 Washington, D.C. Victory Campaign, November 13th through 15th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland at the Hilton Memorial Chapel in Woodbridge, Virginia. The 2015 Branson Victory Campaign, February 26th through 28th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland at Faith Life Church in Branson, Missouri.